Hi, beautiful. There was a potential of an offer from a another competing brand that would not have allowed me to make today's video reviewing the Shark Flex Styler. And I obviously declined that offer. I may have not got the bag today, but I hope I got the respect. <laughs> so today I will be talking about the Shark Flex Styler, which has been out for like a year now. And girl, I have not heard about it once. Make it make sense because it blew up lately on like TikTok and shit. Uh, so I'm here to give you a late review and show you what I think about it because it's far less money than its competitors. Love Dyson, but it may have some competition. Let's get into another messy dysfunctional review by me. And let's see if this is worth your money. I'm gonna make it nice and short and sweet, okay? Because you know what? Sometimes I watch reviews of other people and I'm like, girl, just tell me if this shit it's good. So I'm not gonna get technical today. I'm just gonna give you first impressions, very surface level things that whatever. This doesn't need to be complicated. Nobody cares about the amount of airflow or the amount of like heat distributed onto the hair. It's like, Unless you're like a hairstylist, maybe you care. But like other people, girl, let's just chill a little bit. Just tell me the things I need to know. And that's what I'm here for. Okay, we have the box in front of me. Let's go for it. The Shark Flex Style. I feel like it should have been the Flex Styler. That's my first little pointer. Good box. My reviews are so fucking dumb. I don't know why anybody watches them. All right, directions. Never needed them, never used them in my life. How to do it, how to use it. Okay, that's pretty informative, that's nice. That's nice, I like that. But we got YouTube videos for that. Just kidding, it's actually really useful. And they're cute, awesome. Won't be needing that either. Important safety instructions. <laughs> I don't know safety. All right off the bat, guys, it looks like Dyson. I mean, obviously, people have been taking a lot of inspiration from Dyson. So let me look up the price for you because I honestly didn't do any research before. This particular kit, which is the straight and wavy kit, is $269. Still at a, at a you know relatively expensive price point, but if we compare to its clear competitor, the Dyson Airwrap is $600. If I can do math correctly, which I can't, so I'm gonna look it up what that difference is. Um. Oh wait, I fucked up. Damn it, I should really figure these things out beforehand, shouldn't I? There are so many different prices. It just depends what stuff you get in your kit with Dyson. Same with this one, but I'm gonna go with the lowest price point for Dyson just to give it like a competitive edge. Okay, we're going with the base model, which I think is $550. That sounds like the right thing. 550 minus 269. This is taking me way too long. This is $281 cheaper. That is a significant significant, significant difference. That is about half of the price, the Dyson Airwrap. Even if it did half the amount of good that the Dyson Airwrap does, I would say this is probably still better, but I'm guessing it does more than half as good. Why don't I shut the fuck up and actually show you what's in here? We have this thing, it uses the air to curl your hair, right? If you've never seen one of these before, this is what it looks like. It feels like great quality. Like it's not giving AliExpress. Oh, it does show you on the top, the right versus the left. Other competitors do not do that, which is kind of cool. But the um, Dyson in particular does have these things now that actually switch directions. So that's cool. It has a concentrator nozzle, which normal. This one has these two brushes, which this feels very good. This is like heavy and the bristles feel like really great. These usually feel like a little bit too light for my liking. And this is sick. For blowing out straight hair, having something with a hybrid of these bristles mixed with the natural bristles slash God, I have to look up so much stuff today. What are these bristles? I'm so hot. It's so hot in here. Smoothing bristles and straightening bristles. Okay. Whatever. This little notch up here fucks because you can go like this. I love things with grips. I want to be hands on, baby. I want to get in there. I want to get my face in there and just ugh. feels great. It feels very sturdy. I love the shape of this. It's very unique and different, and I'm digging this. The color of it. I sometimes forget that the brands actually watch these videos. And then I watch them back and I'm like, Oof. but like, we're all friends here. I'm rooting for all of you. I am actually the nicest bitch you'll ever meet. All right, we got these satisfying shits on here. I love these things. <laughs> My reviews are so dumb. Danger, keep away from water. I just fucking dunk it in water. I'm like, <laughs> I die. I'm like, 
I will say this feels heavy. Heaviness can be a thing that you maybe are interested in. I love very light tools. This is heavy. It's not remarkably more heavy than a, any competing brand, but it definitely has some more weight to it, which is a big downside to me and kind of is upsetting because it's, it had a lot going for itself besides that. Let's change the colorways. It's not bad, it's just like gray. Like make this pink or something or like, Black. It looks like a shark tool. I wouldn't say that shark is the most like fancy looking, but they do have a lot of great practical useful products. Okay, well, I just get the magic the good part, right? Like the, we know this thing looks like this, but we also know this thing does this. And can I tell you that that way it clicked? Oh, 10 out of 10, bitch. Can I do that again for you? Things that click into place. I could spend a whole video just reviewing this part of it. I won't do that today, love. So this is the main call out, right? Let's plug this bitch in and let me show you. Miss Maddie Quinn, hey, you are here to do the testing and don't, don't ask me to do the test on myself. I will do these things on myself in the future when I have the hair for it. But unfortunately, hair takes like two years to grow. Let me speak into the mic louder. Unfortunately, hair takes two years to get to the length that I want it to. And we're only like eight months into it. So I need to let it grow longer before I can start testing these tools myself. So now Miss Manny Quinn, I shouldn't be saying this in front of Miss Manny Quinn because she's not gonna have a job when my hair gets long. That's how rude of me. See what you guys made me do? See what you made me do? Let me see how loud this thing is. It's loud. Maybe it isn't even louder than say other tools are, but it has that loud screeching noise. It's like, it was a terrible reenactment of it. And then when you shut it off, it has that like, the high pitched noises and blow dryers, it's not good. I would love a low pitch. Great, we know that you clean this shit with this. It has the same level, like it has the same levels as any other blow dryer. A coal button, and then it has three of the warm and three of the air, and then on and on switch. It's like a blow dryer. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was just gonna say something else and then I got completely distracted. I just did the second most satisfying thing of today's video, which is this. If you take this, watch this, ready? But this is kind of like wobbly. You can tell that there, there's some parts of this that just have not been as well done as say Dyson would do it. It feels kind of like a toy, but hey, it's still $300 cheaper. Let me just blow dry. Let me get a little feel for this. Can y'all just give me a second? Like, damn, I'm trying to enjoy this. Feels good. The only thing is, maybe you can hear it. It wobbles. I'm just being picky. Wobble de wobble de wop wobble. That's how I feel about it. But if it does its job and it's not that expensive for this kind of tool, then wobble away, I guess. It dried the hair how I expect any blow dryer to dry the hair. In a decent amount of time, I'm not about to do some stopwatch and be like, this one dried the hair this fast and that one didn't do it as fast. Like you're cutting what? Two minutes off your drying time. That's great if you're working in a salon, but I'm sure most of you guys aren't. It works for your once a week blow dry. <laughs> let's take this off. Um, all right, let's move on to the next tool. <laughs> Let me switch a Rooney her around. I'm gonna use this. I will say this thing is huge. It's the size of my damn body. I'm not that big, but I'm not this small. It's like, it's like you could literally get in a sword fight with this thing. So far, guys, let me just get on my microphone here. I was expecting to be loving everything because I've seen so many people review this and be like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Like everything's perfect and everything's great. Maybe I have just like way too high of standards, which I'm sure is true. I do have very expensive taste, I must say. I'll keep reviewing it, but so far it's good, not great. Getting worse. I strongly dislike this brush. I get that this is supposed to be a smoothing brush. You know, some sort of bore or faux bore brush is good. This one just has too much tension. There's too many bristles on here. It doesn't glide through the hair. It's very, very hard to get through the hair. And it's taking forever to dry. I don't know if it's her hair or it's this, or I don't know what's going on, but not having a great experience. Everything feels a little bit rickety. And even when it's straight, this goes like this. I would never use this brush. So let's try this one. I just think it's really bad. Why am I being so cutthroat today? What is wrong with me? On to the next tool. Hopefully this one can uh, be much better. This is just a flat brush sort of thing. So hopefully it just smooths her hair out and kind of preps it for this sort of air wrapping mechanism, if you will. 
material looks frizzy. <laughs> I don't like this one either. It dried the hair, but to a state that I just don't think is good. I don't understand. I'm real. I, mm, I don't know. I don't want to say things on the internet that I, I don't know for sure, but like, I'm just giving you my first impressions of this product. Take it with a grain of salt. Maybe it would work better on a different head of hair, but her hair is not very complicated. As you can see, this is how it looks wet. It's just slightly wavy. Uh, it's just not really doing the job. I think they should be more ceramic. Like they need to be able to heat up in order to smooth the hair more, get some of this frizz and, and curl out. Ceramic brushes make it much easier to smooth hair in general. Like even curly hair, wavy hair, any type of hair texture is much more easy to smooth out. I do like natural bristle brushes or faux natural. I think for these purposes, when you're just trying to do like a quick style, you should really be doing ceramic. That's my recommendation, Shark. All right, let's use the main attraction, which is the sort of air wraps thing. Not the air wrap, but a, a thing that wraps air with air and makes your hair curly. Okay, great. These things confuse me every time. Okay, so obviously it's curly. Let me let me just break it out a little bit. It's pretty, and that took five seconds. I mean, her hair was already dry, but like she has a lot of curl for just that amount of time I just spent on that. It was really easy. I mean, that's pretty much like my full review about this. I what I want to do now is get my Dyson air wrap out and just touch all the tools one by one again and make sure I'm not going crazy. We'll do a little fast forward here, showing me trying all the other tools from the Dyson, so I can now actually compare the competitor to this on the same head of hair because I'm just a little thrown off here. I have a lot of opinions going on. Just hold on a damn second. I'm done. I was trying to style this side and I, I literally can't do it. Hold on. It's not all negative. I need this to be longer, you know? They do have longer ones of these now. I just don't have it. And with her length, it's like impossible to get this thing wrapped around. Clearly, it dried her hair. It did a nice, it did a nice job. We'll go over the rest in a second. Let me sit down. I'm God, you guys really got me worked up today with this one, huh? All right, well, now that I've been talking for three hours and sweating for 10, my life is so hard, I have some opinions. This is half the price as its competitor. I will say it is nearly as good. I will say the Dyson feels better, looks better, is sexier, works better in a lot of ways, but not everybody can afford $600 of sexy. So this being half the price is really good. It's a really good product. I like it. I will probably personally stick with the Dyson. It's so much lighter. It's a huge factor for me. It's quieter, also huge for me. And then as for the accessories, there's things I like about the Dyson accessories. There's things I like about the shark accessories and there's things I don't like about both of them. So they kind of like even out. That's kind of it. Like, I <laughs> That's the tea. It's good. Is it great for the price? Yeah. Is it great in general? I wouldn't give it the great mark. I would give it the pretty damn good mark. I'll leave it there. I think I've done enough. I've said enough things. <sighs> I've given enough opinions. If you want it, I would say get it. And if you want to splurge on a product that I think is a teeny bit better, get the Dyson. But overall, these two tools are great to have in your bathroom. Very useful for many things. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of these come out very soon. If we could get something in the middle of these two, in the middle price range, I think it would be sick. Well, that's all for today, guys. Uh, make sure you check out my hair care line and my hair color line with the links right down below. New products coming very soon. And of course, there is a link right down below if you you want to shop the shark flex style there you go thank you guys for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye